Here's a really simple example of upgrading an app that was written for React 17 to React 18. I'm using the use SWR library to handle the wrapping around the data fetching so I don't have to worry about is loading. I'm using just a standard um, URL that returns me some data and I'm just mapping it. Here's the, here's the results of that data. So right now I have suspense set to false, which is the which is the default. And I'm going to change that to true. And then I'm going to import suspense. Import suspense. If I can spell it right. From React. And then if I were to simply wrap this component in suspense, suspense and make a fallback URL called um, fallback URL loading, just to be simple. If I were to do this, it'd be really nice if this works, but of course it doesn't. If I, if I reload the page, I get some sort of crazy React error that we don't really care about. The reason it doesn't work is suspense requires the component that it wraps return a promise. And this is just JSX. The promise actually that needs to get returned is up here, which is um, use SWR is supporting that. It's actually complicated if you don't use a library like use SWR, or use query, or um, Apollo GraphQL. It's complicated if you, if you don't use one of these libraries. It's simple if you do spell loading correctly. And I'm going to extract this compo this JSX right here. I'm going to control exit. And I am going to put it right below my component declaration. And I'm going to call it um, function process and render. It's not going to take in any data. And it's going to return this, this JSX. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all this code that generated the promise. I'm going to put it up here before. So now my, now my promise is completely wrapped. And I can now just call this component directly. Let me get rid of some return so I can keep this all on the page, not planning ahead as well as I could. While we're here, let's get rid of the is loading because we don't need that anymore with suspense. Suspense just takes care of that for us. And so now when I run this, I have suspense equals to true. I've wrapped my process and render, which has the fetcher, it has the um, the demo code. Let's see if that'll just work now. And it does. And if I refresh it, well, it's too fast to actually see the fallback URL, but that actually happened. If you want to know more about this, I'm currently in the process of building a course for Pluralsight. Um, it will either be called um, React 18 First Look or what's coming in, or React 18, what's coming. It's not clear what the title will be, but if React 18 releases, then it will be the, the first look. And if it doesn't release, it'll have some title that implies it's, it's coming. That's it. Thanks for watching.